Good morning, Susie Cobden. Fear. Fear and truth. <laughs> you know, fear is the opposite of love. But it's not truth. Truth in and of itself isn't truth because there's no absolutes. Truth is only a perspective, a belief that you hold, that you believe is true. Now, quite often, we have truths or we believe things that are true and yet they make us feel uncomfortable. They provoke fear in us. And that is because the belief is not true. Now we might be looking at doing something and that provokes fear in us. And I'm not saying that that thing is not our truth, that we shouldn't do it. What I'm saying is that the belief you have about what you're wanting to do is, is not the truth. So if you wanted to go and do something something you've never done before perhaps, something that's stretching you and you think of how it could go wrong or how you could make a fool of yourself, then that feeling that you have that comes up in you, that fear that comes up in you is about your thought. It's not about that thing that you're facing. So it's really important to become aware of our thoughts because once you're aware of your thoughts when fear comes up then you can go back to the thought and see where it's gone wrong now truth is always empowering it's always expansive and it comes from an open heart fear can't come through an open heart when you're in fear, you close yourself down and you close your heart down. And that's why when we're fearful, we can't think straight because we don't have access in that moment to our true self. So it's really important to be aware of how you're feeling and how you're thinking because they're truly our guidance system and won't lead us wrong. So, those are a couple of things to um, really be aware of. And, you know, awakening. Awakening is actually living without fear. Because when you're living without fear, your heart is open and you're having fun. And you're not limiting yourself. Fear is very limiting. You know, if, if things come up and they bring up fear and you stop yourself, then you're putting a wall up. You're putting boundaries around yourself that don't permit you to be your whole and true beautiful being. So, you know, many of us have done this. You know, I was brought up to be a good girl and consequently I did all I could to make everybody else happy. I was a pleaser. And consequently I had all these beliefs that if I didn't do something that I thought would make them happy, then I wasn't doing the right thing. And, you know, I closed myself down because I didn't look at my own desires and my own um, dreams and allow myself to be who I was born to be. And it's really important that you know, we discover what sets our heart on fire, what actually, you know, is exciting to us because those are the things that we came here to do. Anything that is joyful and exciting and makes you want to jump out of bed of a morning is on your path. It's, it's something that's calling you and something that if you loved yourself unconditionally would allow yourself to do so very important to follow your heart
allow it to guide you in the way that it was intended. You know, we came here with our big, beautiful hearts, born out of love, created out of love, and it's our truth. You know, everything that we desire in our physical life, we have access through to through the heart. And the fact that we can even desire, desire it means that it is already waiting for us when we align with it. But we can't align when we're in fear. So, you know, all of these different emotions, whether it be fear or love, and all the ones in between, they um, expand us or contract us. And when they do so, they actually affect our breath. You know, when we are born, the very first thing we do is take a breath. That breath is life. You know, we know that when we die, we stop breathing. And it's not the end of us, but it's the end of the physical. And every emotion affects our breath in, in some way. And it's really, the breath is a way that we can really come back to ourselves using deliberate breathing, focusing on the breath and allowing that life force, sorry, that life force to flow through us unrestricted. And you will notice that when you're in fear or anxiety, your breath is very shallow and quick. So deep breathing is really important. And when someone's sleeping or snoring, you know, they're breathing deep because they're connected. Um, so, you know, taking the time just to stop and do deep breaths um, really brings you back to your centre and gives you those few moments to release thought and to raise your frequency. So the breath is really important um, as far as a good life is concerned. When, you, when you're um, wanting something, when you're desiring something and you ask, did you know that you haven't actually decided and completed the asking until your frequency lines up with it? So you could say that I want a million dollars and at that point, it's an asking, but it's not a decision to have it. If you then go and imagine yourself having the million dollars, or get joyful, either way, then your energy comes into alignment with that asking, and the decision has been made. Once the decision has been made, it exists. And then it's just a matter of us allowing its delivery. And you do that through being joyful and happy and in alignment with yourself. So don't restrict yourself through fear. Become aware and notice when you're being fearful, when you're being anything but love. And change your focus. You know, it may be laughing at yourself. It may be some, finding something to appreciate but don't stay in those fearful thoughts because those fearful thoughts aren't empowering you at all. So it's given you a lot to think about today. Have a beautiful day and we'll chat again on the next video. Bye for now.